Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian. Part of our team this week traveled to Nashville, Tennessee to cover the Army Aviation Association of America's annual conference and trade show, where our coverage is sponsored by Leonardo DRS. While in Nashville, we met with Scott Tumpak, Vice President for Military Programs at Airbus Helicopters, and asked him for an update on the company's UH-72A Lakota program, its H-145M multi-mission helicopter, and its VSR-700 unmanned aerial system. Our most significant piece of business with the, with the U.S. Army or with the military worldwide is the UH-72A uh, Lakota program, where we have over, uh, we have 412 aircraft fielded with the Army in a variety of missions, ranging from uh, the initial entry rotary wing mission in Fort Rucker, Alabama, um, to National Guard missions uh, across the, the U.S. We're happy uh, to, to report that we just signed uh, a contract for uh, two contracts, actually, for an additional 51 aircraft uh, total uh, within the, the last couple of months, and that's on top of a new contractor logistics support uh, contract with the Army that we signed uh, at the end of 2016. The Lakota uh, performs a, a really critical role to the initial entry uh, rotary ring training mission for uh, the steep rise that's coming for Army pilots going through the, the schoolhouse. So continuing the Lakota fielding to, event, to address a, a ramp eventually to 1,300 students is critical to enabling the larger combat capability of the Army. Anecdotally, we're seeing a lot of positive feedback on the Lakota uh, replacing the, the legacy single engine aircraft in, in Fort Rucker. The benefits are the, the glass cockpit, which enable an easier transition to the Army's uh, go-to-war fleet um, and are enabling some tasks to be pulled off of the more expensive aircraft onto Lakota. And then, uh, of course, a twin engine capability also is, is analogous to, to what the Army flies in their combat aircraft. Our focus for the rest of the year is, is really execution. Uh, with the 51 additional aircraft on contract, continuing our, our track record of uh, every aircraft delivered on time, on cost, going back 11 years to the beginning of the program. And then uh, as the Lakota continues to stand up in the initial entry rotary wing mission in, in Fort Rucker, 171 aircraft now flying there um, to ensure the, the, the seamless stand up of, of that mission to meet the critical pilot training need for the Army. If we consider uh, the potential for constrained fiscal environments in, in the future, uh, the Lakota is really an ideal product for that environment. Uh, the fact that it is a commercial off-the-shelf aircraft, uh, it has a very low flight hour cost uh, relative to some of the other aircraft in the fleet, and of course that was one of the major uh, factors in how the Army structured the Lakota program uh, to begin with 12 years ago. The H-145 helicopter is the latest civil market version from our EC-145 uh, family, so it offers some additional performance capabilities, upgraded avionics, uh, and also has had some significant military sales so far to date in a version called the H-145M. Uh, and we are promoting uh, that military capability of the aircraft primarily for uh, non-U.S. customers that are at the show. Um, the aircraft is available through the foreign military sales uh, channel to, to customers around the world. Uh, and also some of these technologies in the long term may be interesting to the U.S. Army customer. In regard to the VSR-700, this is a um, maturing unmanned system capability that likewise may fit into some of the requirements either uh, here with the U.S. Army, other uh, U.S. military services, or um, for customers around the world.